Hello, I thank you for joining me right here on Africa News. And this is SciTech. I am Ignatius Anno. Today, we head to Ghana to meet a group of youth helping shape how farmers harvest, allocate, process, and store grains through the use of technology. Isaac Sassi, 25, leads a team of four young people from various fields, and together they have developed moisture meters for farmers. Grain Mate is helping farmers to measure the moisture content in grains to prevent growth of harmful toxins, thus helping reduce losses by 38%. Most Ghanaian farmers are smallholder farmers who face setbacks including poor literacy level and so the use of such devices is unerving. Sessi Technology says it is well aware of this truth and that's why its Grain Mate device was developed. The device, we understand, is easy and requires very little training. At the moment, the Ghanaian startup company says it is focused on building the necessary structures to help scale up production of grain made. According to Ghana's Business World, a leading local magazine, the effort of the team is paying off as they have Coat got into the Tony Illumilu 2018 entrepreneurship program, which is currently running and promises of a cool $5,000 at the end of the program. End of quote. Greenmate is priced at $100. US dollars. Now, Isaac Sessi is co founder and CEO of Sessi Technologies. At Sessi Technologies, we develop affordable technology for farmers and other stakeholders across the agri value chain to help them increase yield, maximize profits, increase productivity, and then reduce losses. Our first product, the Grain Mate Grain Moisture Tester, helps farmers reduce post-harvest losses in grains by making it possible for them to accurately determine the moisture content in their grain crops before storage. From Western Africa, let's head to Southern Africa, particularly in Zimbabwe, where a team of journalists is determined to keep propaganda and misinformation using online tools. Zimbabwe's first online national fact-checking organization, Zimfact, has been working to reduce the circulation of false information on various media platforms due to increased use of social media like WhatsApp, Facebook and Twitter. Zimfact was officially launched in March this year in the face of media polarization and political turmoil in the Southern African nation. The team is made up of two professional journalists and a researcher who verify claims made by politicians in a country where falsities are a common practice. According to the International Journalists Network, Zimfact has so far, quote, debunked several misleading articles, mostly by politicians, public and private media. For instance, the online fact-checking platform debunked the myth that 15 billion US dollars worth of diamonds disappeared from the Marangis diamond fields, as claimed by former president of Zimbabwe, Robert Mugabe. End of quote. Now, Chris Shinaka is editor-in-chief of Zimfact. And our focus and our work is uh, to fact-check uh, information uh, in the media and uh, from public uh, statements by public officials uh, to ensure that uh, it is first accurate, that it is not misleading. We think this is an important contribution uh, for the public to make uh, the right decisions based on the information that has been verified. Uh, we realize that in the world today, there is a rise in the spread of uh, false and misleading information and we want to make a small contribution towards Kenya. Now residents of Zimbabwe are encouraged to reach out if they have any claim they want verified. Finally, and if you are a female and go up playing with the iconic doll called Bubby, then this might be of interest to you. Bobby, the world's most iconic doll, is venturing into coding skills in her latest career as a robotics engineer. The new doll, launched last Tuesday, aims to encourage girls as young as seven to learn real coding skills thanks to a partnership with a kids game-based computing platform, Tinker. 
Robotics engineer Bobby comes with six free Bobby-inspired coding lessons designed to teach logic, problem-solving and the building blocks of coding. The lesson show girls, for example, how to build robots, get them to move at a dance party or do some jumping jacks. Bobby has held more than 200 careers in her almost 60-year life, including president, video game developer and an astronaut. And that's all I have for you on SciTech this week. I am Ignatius Anno. Let the conversation continue. Follow me on Twitter at Ignatius Anno. I thank you for watching and goodbye.